We began with tonight's severe weather and the damage that's now spread across much of Iowa and southern Minnesota. Multiple reports of tornadoes touching down in central Iowa and in Minnesota. And this is damage done to Greenfield, Iowa, just outside Des Moines, about 50 miles. Officials confirmed multiple deaths and at least a dozen injuries here. In Minnesota, a reported tornado hit communities in Wabasha and Winona counties. This is what it now looks like near Rolling Stone. You can see some um, RVs seem to be tipped over right there, and they're not alone. We have team coverage tonight. Richard Reeve is live in Rochester with a look at the damage left behind by strong winds and heavy rain. First, Ren Claire shows us what you can expect the rest of tonight. Ren? Good evening. Well, the good news is at this point, we're just looking at some heavy rain at times, and the backside of this round of rain is entering the far west metro. So we're seeing the rain wrap up pretty much west to east or a little bit southwest to northeast as the low tracks farther northeastward. We do have some pockets of heavier rainfall. I'm not expecting severe weather when it comes to severe thunderstorm warnings or tornadoes at this point. That is well to the east. Uh, but like we did show you there, there was some damage in Winona County with a cell that at one point did have a, an observed tornado that crossed into Mississippi, though, and then those storms continued to develop towards Wisconsin. So as we continue into tonight, we do have some heavy rainfall right along uh, 51, Highway 51, Snelling. We also are looking at some pockets of heavy rain, especially across the East Metro. That's where we still have our flood watch in place until 1 a.m. Here's a quick estimate of rainfall totals from tonight, where you're seeing the purples across most of the metro. That's one to two inches of rain across the South Metro, some reports of even two to four inches of rainfall. So still a flood watch in place towards Ramsey County, Washington County, as well as West Central Wisconsin. Guys? All right, lots of rain for mm -hmm. folks tonight. And we want to get right to Richard Reeve now, who joins us live in Rochester, about a mile northwest of Mayo Clinic. And Rich, you've seen some pretty extensive damage in those neighborhoods. Yeah, Kevin, they're saying dozens and dozens of sites of trees down here. We're on 10th Street Northwest, and this is one of the largest we've found here so far. I want to walk over here and show you this. Take a look at the thickness of this trunk. Look at that. That's from these high winds here. Now, the good news here is that uh, residents say uh, their power flickered but did not go out. Let's show you some video from Rochester and other places. You can see trees falling onto decks in backyards, on streets and driveways. Uh, and it wasn't just here. It was also Austin and Albert Lee. That's how widespread these high winds were. Now in Rochester, most of the damage in the southeastern quadrant of the city. Let's show you Rolling Stone. Lindsay, you mentioned that just a moment ago. Uh, that's east of Rochester, north of Winona. Uh, there was a gas station that was impacted there and also a camper flipped completely over. This was a small community, 700 to 800 people. They will have a lot of cleanup ahead. Then let's go to Kellogg, Minnesota. Now, this is along Highway 61. Uh, one of our photographers, our photojournalist, was down there driving along the highway. Look at all that debris on that highway. Again, a major cleanup underway. Now, they've already started blocking off streets here in Rochester. We can come back live. Uh, they barricaded some of them off right here to make sure folks uh, don't intersect with any of the trees here. But it will be a long night ahead for these road crews. Reporting live, Richard Reeve, 5 Eyewitness News. Long night ahead and long day of cleanup tomorrow yeah, as well. Yeah, a lot of chainsaws going to be out. All right, tonight.